Okay, in response to this comment, how do you create characters that we care about? Okay, so three ways in which you can create characters that feel real. So I'm assuming you've done your homework, you know what your character wants, you know what's roughly going to happen in the story, you know how they're going to change. So what you now need is a character to put all of this stuff into. So first way is visualize. Um, I do this by writing my way into the scene, but just if you're better at visualizing, just sit down, close your eyes, picture your character walking to their front door or to the door of their room if they have a, a room in, an, in a shared place and walking into their sanctuary. And what do they do? How do they throw their keys down? Do they put it put in their pocket? Do they hang it up? What do they do? What do they do next? Do they take their shoes off? Do they take their coat off? How do they sit down? All of that, just watch them and you will get a feel for the person that they are. Number two, steal a character. I don't mean lift a character entirely out and write them into your book, but you can start with an existing character. So when I wrote Playing for Love, I based the story roughly on um, Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir, but I also used the character of Marinette. And Marinette in the, in the cartoon is super smart, not very confident, but then when she, in her superhero guise, she's super confident and she knows exactly her worth. And I gave that not to the female character, but to the male character. So if you read Playing for Love, you'll see that Luke is super smart, not very confident in real life, but in his in-game character, he knows his worth and he is super confident. And I built him up from there. So I took aspects of an existing character, changed them completely so that Luke is nothing at all like Marinette and then came up with a new character that is believable. And the third one, interview them. Sit your character down in your imagination and ask them lots of questions. Not just what's your favorite color, if you were a cake, what cake would you be? Uh, but other things like, what's your favorite Christmas present? Why was it important? Um, what are you scared of? Why? Why is really, really important. So Nero in Picture Perfect feels that she's not a great artist and she has been her confidence has been destroyed but why it's because she's a woman of color with dark skin and she's quite fat and she has had over her life aunties telling her oh yes you'll never amount to anything you probably won't even get a good husband um and this has become internalized and that's what makes her who she is and once you know that you can change her and develop her and make her a more believable person 